Hey everyone, this is Terry. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to do a quick flip through of my latest Softback journal that I just completed. Uh, it is a music themed journal, a total of 76 pages, uh, counting front and back that you can journal on. So let's get started with the flip through. Uh, again, it is a Softback journal. I have wrapped it in Sari silk. As you can see, it's the music themed. And it does have the number embellishment down here at the bottom. So as you open it up, it does have a, a several different tuck spots here. It has the one tuck with the music journaling on the back. There's also a tuck spot here that you can add or that has the embellishments. You can add it to as well. This is the index page for an old book from 1945 called The Stories of the Great Operas. And I've got several of those pages throughout the book. They are the original pages of that book. I've got some stenciling on my coffee dyed paper. Lots of pages to journal to. Music book page. Little collage there with some journaling. Very pretty. I love to add the, the little softness colors of blues throughout my journal. And again, like I said, it is music themed. Music paper. This here is again from the book of the Stories of the Great Operas from 1945. And we do have a collage tag. I actually made and made this tag, hand stamped it. It's got fabric, an embellishment there, and one of my homemade postage stamps that I made, which there is a tutorial for on my channel, so I can link it below for you. And some collaging there. Ledger paper, music paper, coffee dyed with my stamping. This is from an old book, I believe it dated back to 1917 an old music book. This here is a tuck spot that has room for you to journal. Got some fabric here, a little bit of lace. Again, the music theme. This here is one of my handmade collage tags. And then we have an envelope behind it. So you have a, a tuck here, the envelope comes out. You can tuck it to the side as well. An old book from the 1945 of the Great Opera book. Lots of journaling space. This is the Progressive Music Series book. It's actually from 1914. There's two different parts of that page in here. This is a homemade tag that I did, a little tuck spot with several different of the fabric hanging from it. Several different tuck spots here for you. We've got the card and then the postcard that you can journal on as well. Kind of brown, green, and blue tones throughout the book. Lots of journal places, journal spots for you. Another tuck. This is original from a book from 19 or 1791. Some more music paper. Some collaging both sides. This is the out of the stories of the great operas from 1945. It is the um, chapter of the life of Beethoven. And on the very back, we have a tuck, The Earth Has Music for Those Who Listen. 
we have a tuck spot with an envelope. And when we open this up, it is a letter and it's called The Power of Song. And then you can journal on the, the back of that as well. So this was very fun to make. Uh, again, this is listed and available now on my Etsy shop. So feel free to like that. Just a couple of other updates of things that I have on my Etsy shop as well. I did create a series. Um, I've got several of these available of these tags and uh, they all coordinate with each other. So it's a set of three. They're all tied with the ribbon. Check those out if you would like to. Those are on my Etsy shop as well. I have my new envelopes that I've made. So how I utilize them, there's a tuck spot here. This is an envelope that closes. And then if you put it in your book, I glue the inside and then that, and that gives you the ability to do another tuck spot here for several things if you put those in your book. So I've got several of those that are available in the Etsy shop as well. And then last but not least, I did, uh, I'm offering sets of my, sorry about the glare on that. I am offering sets of my coffee dyed paper that I use for all of my journals. Uh, so those come 20 to a set. Um, they're all hand coffee dyed. So I typically use about four sheets in a journal. So that gives me enough for, for about five journals to do. And that gives you about 16 pages that you can mix in with other paper to use in your journals. So that's it. Like I said, it was a short video. Just wanted to flip shit through, show you the beautiful journal that I just came, completed. And we'll see you soon with a new tutorial. Thanks, everyone.